Hello? Hey, wait a second, guys. Just a sec. Just calm down a second. I've got a, I've got an in, in, incoming transmission. Um, <clears throat> uh, Cosmo, is that you? Hi. Oh, Carrie. Hi. Hi, Carrie. How are you doing? I'm okay. Where are you? Me? Oh, uh, I'm just out of space, you know? With all this isolating, I just decided that it was a bit boring down on Earth. So I decided that space is the place for me. Wait, you're in space? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In actual space? space distance, you know. Keeping oh, it of, of, of course, of course. Well, do you know what, Cosmo? That's really, really weird because I was actually wanting to talk to you about that adventure we went on when we went to space. Do you remember? Oh, yeah, really well. That's what I was thinking about. That's why I came here. Really? <gasps> yeah. Yeah, I just popped up in my rocket from last time. Oh, do you still have that rocket? Yeah, yeah, it's in brilliant shape. It's really cracking. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. It's, uh, it's perfect for now. So what about that story were you talking about? Well, I was thinking back to the story, and I really want to be able to tell it again, but there are a few bits that I can't remember. Um, but I did make Zog and Zebedee. I made little versions of them to help me tell the story. Oh, wow. But I need you to help me tell the story as well. So, so do you think you've got time to? Well, I'm sure I can um, clear some space in my very busy space schedule. Uh, just for you, though, Carrie, you know. Um, otherwise, it's, uh, it's quite busy up here. I've uh, got lots oh, really? of things to do, working on the space station, that sort of thing. But, um, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'd love to tell the story. Amazing. Hey, but Carrie, if we're going to tell this story, we need to tell it right. And so you need to get yourself ready for space. You don't look ready for space. I'm not going to lie to you. What do you mean? Well, you're sat in a kitchen for one. I'm actually in space, so I know what you're going to need. Actually, I've got a checklist of all the things that I had to get ready to go to space myself. So, hey, and if there are any aliens listening to this transmission, maybe they could race you and uh, find the things for this checklist as well. We need to be ready for our journey to space. Yes, that sounds like an amazing idea, Cosmo. Right. Um, okay. So what do I need? Okay, so first thing on our space travel list is you're going to need a helmet. A little bit like mine. It's a very good, very safe and air secure, airtight helmet. Uh, we're going to need this to be able to use it to keep our breathing safe and our heads from exploding. Number two, your eyes are very important. So we need some goggles or things to make sure that your eyes don't pop out when we go into orbit. Number three. We're going to need something to protect your feet. They're very important as well, and we don't want any of your toes popping off, anything like that. And also, they have to be very good for walking on dusty surfaces like different planets, like on Mars and the Moon. They're really dusty, so you're going to need something to help you out there. Number four. We're going to need something to help keep us going. So, uh, food and water. Um, and if you can think of any ways of making those extra safe and special for traveling, uh, like, I don't know, uh, Spaceman ice cream, then you could use those as well. And finally, our fifth item that we need to take with us to space is something that's going to help us with navigation. That means that we need to know where we're going to go and how to get there. So something like a map or a radio or um, like a GPS or a sat nav or maybe even a compass. Anything that's going to help us um, to find where we need to go. Have you done it? Are you ready? Yeah, Cosmo, I think I'm ready. Here we go. Brilliant, Carrie. You look awesome. Um, okay, so the last thing, I guess, is just that we need to get you out to space. The only problem is, Cosmo, I'm not sure how I'm going to get up to space because, well, you're already out there, but, but I don't have a rocket. Uh, mm. Yeah, good point. Hmm, well... I tell you what, I'll have a think about that and get back to you about it. I'm sure we can get you out to space in no time. Right, Cosmo, send me a transmission through the radio when you've got an idea. Yeah? Okay, good idea. Yes, perfect. Okay, so I can't wait to tell this story with you. Astronaut Cosmo signing out from Space Station. And Space Girl Carrie signing off from her granddad's kitchen. Great. Speak to you soon.
Speak to you soon.